Hey everyone, this is Mary Vivanco, Avon Rep Online. Hey, um, I wanted to share uh, this tutorial on how to add drop down menus to your blogger site. And this works well with the simple template. I haven't tried it with any other uh, blogger template, but it's very successful with a simple template in blogger. So um, what I'm talking about, drop down menus for your site is um, this what I'm talking about here, your drop down menus. Um, I love it. It keeps my my blog organized where my, my Avon customers or anyone is able to come here and look at um, all my, my categories here. So I, I love it that um, I was able to discover this um, drop-down menu and and how I did that I want to show you step by step I already have set this um, site and I created another one so I can show you step by step okay so the, let me go here go back to blogger okay blogger dashboard I had created um, beauty with Mary 24-7 um, so I'm in my dashboard here, okay, on here on the side where it says new post, overview, post, pages, comments, status, um, earnings, campaigns, layout, template, and settings. You want to go ahead and click template. Okay, and like I, I have said, uh, this drop down menu works awesome on the simple template. I haven't tried it in any other and um, I love the simple template. Uh, to me it kind of resembles a lot to the, um, the Word, WordPress. It's simple and easy. So um, we're in here in the template. You always want to back up and restore and then restore it in case you mess up in the coding. Um, it's always uh, it's very advisable that you do back it up, so that way you can uh, restore it back up and and have no no issues. But um, to me personally, I guess because I've been working on it and I know about uh, pretty much uh, not a lot, but I know a lot uh, on the HTML code, and um, I feel like I shouldn't download it, download it, which. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't do that, but anyways, it, it is recommended that you do. Okay, so on your template here, we're going to click Edit HTML. Let me scroll back to the top because you want to make sure you're all the way to the top. Okay, um, so this is what it looks like. Section 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth and so on. Okay, so what we're going to look in our in this template, the simple template is your skin skin. Okay, or you can click right in between the skin skin or you can click on the little black arrow here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little tab in between the skin skin to expand that HTML code. And we are going to look for that second skin tab. Let me show you what it looks like. Until we find it. Oops, I went a little too far. And here it is. This is your second um, skin tab here. Okay, so we are going to implement CSS coding in here so we can add the drop down menu to our site. So we're going to click right in between here, between the greater and less than sign, right in between, and you're going to enter twice. One, two, and then click in between the 638 and 40, right in between here. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that, and we're going to grab that code to, um, to implement it in our template 
so we can um, get that drop down menu. And that code, I already have it in my um, in my Microsoft Word. Uh, let me go to here. And I will be posting this um, on my blog so you're able to get this code. And here's the code. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of the CSS code for your drop down menu in Blogger. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead. Right click, copy. Okay, and I have all this code in my Microsoft Word or any um, document that you want to save this um, CSS menu code. Okay, so I right click and copy. Let's go back to Blogger where we left off in the code. Um, we broke that skin and we're going to add that CSS coding we just copied right in between. Right click and paste. And there's that coding in there. Okay. Very nice. And that yeah, looks good. So I want to show you one little tip here that when you add the CSS code, remember where you add it at. Section 639 and it ended in section 26. It's e it makes it easier for me to remember where I add this code. Um, later down the row, if you don't want the um, CSS menu, you're able to come back here and you know what section you pasted on. Make sure you um, write this down on uh, a piece of paper or, or, or something where you can write down where you add the CSS code and you'll be able to refer back. Uh, to me, that's helped tremendously to know what section I put pasted it in in my HTML code. Okay, so, all right, so let's go ahead and save that template. Okay, let's go ahead and view blog. And right now, it's not going to show it. See, it's not showing it because we need the other second piece to the puzzle to show that um, uh, uh, drop down menu in your blog, in your site. Okay, so let's go back to Blogger. We already saved that um, code in the template. So we're going to go ahead and go to Layout. And in Layout, you're going to look for uh, the cross column. Um, to add a gadget. Click on add a gadget. Click on HTML slash JavaScript. Okay, so we're going to paste that other code here to add the um, drop down menu um, drop down menus on your site. And I already have that in my Microsoft Word. Okay, so before we copy this, I want to show you all of it that is highlighted in yellow is where your URL goes. Okay, this is my URL for my, my blog. And you're going to um, category categorize it as home. Um, here's my welcome page. You categorize it in between the spam these bracket here and you put welcome um, here's my URL for um, contact me okay that's my URL you're gonna paste your own URL in there okay um, and here you'll put um, this between the spam contact us um, again here I forget to highlight this little area here um, that's where your URL goes. And here is the um, the category of what they're looking in um, when viewing Avon catalog. Okay, so let me scroll down a little bit. 
And everything in yellow is where your URL goes and everything in the pink is um, what you're going to title for that link. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. Okay, so I did a few like that with my own URLs. Make sure you're adding yours. So here at the bottom, I highlighted um, the yellow um, number symbol. That's where you're going to um, put your URL. Okay, so between those little um, signs in there okay right in between in there because if you get it you don't you add the URL out of those um, little um, what I'm trying to say here <laughs> little brackets then it won't work make sure it's inside between there that number sign in between those two right there okay and here the spam blog loving Twitter in here on um, Instagram Oops, I forgot Oops. <laughs> so okay let me go ahead here it is everything in yellow your URL and where is it going to it, you categorize it you categorize your URL Google Plus YouTube login Twitter Instagram so on and so forth so let's go ahead we're going to copy every little piece. And copy all that. Okay. Right click, copy. Okay. I'm going to go back to Blogger where we left at. And um, where we were at. Um, to add a gadget on your cross column. So where that code that we just copy from the uh, Microsoft Word, we're gonna go ahead and right click, paste, and that's the, the right there. And that's where the code we just copy. Okay, remember to add your URL, okay? And then your spam, that's where the name of the tab, welcome, okay, between the spam and then between those little um, hyphenated, that's what I meant to say earlier, those hyphenated, in between those hyphenated, um, uh, that's where your URL goes. We're going to go ahead and save that. Save arrangement, always save arrangement. And let's go ahead and view blog and see what we have. And voila, there is your drop down menu. This is one, two, three, four drop down menus. Okay. So um, this code is for four drop-down menus, and make sure that you add your own links. Okay, um, so how to add your own links? Let's go ahead and see that little tool here. You click on it, and it takes you here. Okay, take my take out my um, URL and add your own URL of your blog post okay and you can get that URL on your blog post um, up up here that's your URL for your 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 blog your site you copy that you come back here to your tool and you put it right there in between the um, between those little brackets okay between there make sure your URL goes in there and then you're gonna categorize it as as home you do for every one of them every one of them okay and I did a few with mine on there so I can show you but um, towards the bottom here every little number sign uh, that number sign make sure the hashtag make sure you add your URL there and here where it says blog lobin um, the title 
of that URL. So it'll go to that specific URL. So um, if you have any questions, feel free um, to leave a comment. I will be more than happy to help you out. I will be posting the the um, the HTML on my, on my post uh, step by step. I'm hoping this is helpful for you and uh, I look forward to doing a tutorial about um, adding headers and all sorts of things that um, you can do on Blogger. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys have a good day. Mary, Mary Vivanco, Avon Rep Online. Thanks. Bye guys.